Welcome to our daily reading for Friday, February 17th, 2017. Remember, it's a general reading. See what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. So see what feels right for you. It could be one sign and that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest, greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. How you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for that wave? Crushing into the wave? Riding the wave? Or ignoring the wave? Also, feel free to make this an interactive video if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, try to check out the musical playlist below. See if there's more depth to this reading for you in any of those songs or just enjoy the music. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you enjoy the reading. I'll see you in a moment. I love you so much. Okay. Welcome to our daily reading for Friday, February 17th, 2017. Let's begin and see what kind of energy is coming through for the day. We're going to start with the Magical messages from the fairies oracle. Let's get clarity for the day. Let's see what God, source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. Let's get clarity and focus on the energies coming through and wisdom to ride these energies best. Let's get a nice foundation energy for Friday, February 17th. 2017 <laughs> business venture is coming through so this is a nice card trust this is sort of like the card that came through yesterday having that business card that chance meeting that puzzle piece come through that door opening that leads you towards more doors opening to like for you, I'm getting like open doors. I'm getting like repeat business. And look at the gold here, like golden customers, golden opportunities, things um, that come in abundance. Um, there's a lot of purple in this card. So there's a lot of spirit in this card. There's a lot of uh, deep connection you know, personal signs coming through for you that feels like it's connected to your spirit. Now, where you are, where you want to go, what's lighting your spiritual fire here. Um, it's a different kind of energy. It's a different kind of fire. It's an idea. It's passion, but it's connected to something deeper. I'm getting like root chakra. So it could be business. I mean, when I see the coins, I think of pentacles, survival, having to work to survive. But when we learn to have something in our world that makes us passionate, that really drives us and uh, like gets you out of bed without having to try. I just heard that that song come through like blurry face and I care what you think. What is that? That's the 21 pilot song. Stress is I think it's stressed out. I'll put that below. It's finding what makes you happy. You know, what doesn't really feel like work. And when you start down that road, that spiritual path, sometimes we got to keep the side job. We have to keep the job that pays the bills, you know, but it's taking that extra path, going down that extra road. That's not really, I'm getting in direct sight all the time. When it's spiritual, it's hidden a little bit. It's behind the veil a little bit. You can't quite see it all. You can just feel it. You just know there's something there. You know, it's also feeling like when it's not right, when it's not value, when it's just like, I'm just like bullshit. When someone's just talking the big BS and doesn't follow through. I feel like this is not the tipper that comes into the establishment and talks about how big a tip they're going to leave and blah, blah, blah in the end, at least coming from 20 years experience, they're generally the ones that don't. And sometimes it's um, more valuable to have the person that can't tip, but recognizes your um, help, your 
whatever you help them with, like you are, they have appreciation and honesty to what they can and can't give. And sometimes that appreciation is more valuable than the, the old tip. And sometimes something comes through really unexpected. You know, it's usually the unexpected person, the unexpected place that puts that unexpected thing into your world. Whether it's an opportunity, whether it's the opportunity to connect to somebody else later on down the line, whether that's a business venture, a partnership, a friendship, a love interest, whatever it is, you know, this could be the person that gets you that job that gets you in that place where your future honey walks in. You know, however that road goes, but you followed something. I feel like this is the right time, right place thing. It's not always like the advertisement you see, you know, for the, the, the like the wanted ads, whether that's like single and looking or um, looking for this, I'm getting business, like a, like a job. I feel like it's more like the word of mouth job. It's walking into a place and somebody just quit. It's that. It's having given your business card the day before and the next day you find out all of a sudden there's an opening and you were the one in the wallet you know yeah. so trust and follow through with a new business idea or career opportunity it doesn't mean you gotta like unload everything on your plate now just find where you can adjust something sometimes this is taking a class going back to school taking some time off to read a book of something you're really into that maybe is going to lead you somewhere down the road. Walk into a bookstore and meet some somebody cool in the aisle, you know? Um, I just saw the, like, the I don't know if they're, like, I want to say the adventure section. I want to say, like, uh, um, yeah, I want to say, like, almost, like, graphic novels but comic book but adult so maybe there's something with comic books maybe a convention like comic-con or something like that um it makes me think of somebody who's really good at drawing or painting or just like uh sketches of something that can become something big it's like something simple i'm seeing something simple image projected large oh by the way this is one of my favorite sweaters and the last time i had it in a video i didn't show the whole thing it's my chemistry sweater my nerd sweater let me show you it's pretty cool all right so um it might be be like wearing your weird sweater today or recognizing someone else's uh uh odd sense of um i'm getting like odd sense of like how they dress you know maybe their unique style coming through but that opens the door that's like um the the entryway through you know like oh that's interesting and all of a sudden you're talking and all of a sudden it becomes something or an idea even you know um it could be like you and your friend talking seeing something on the tv or seeing something outside or hearing something going on if you're out at dinner or something like that and like that gives an idea that idea brings a conversation that a conversation becomes a partnership becomes a side business and you're doing something together and it started with an idea and all of a sudden you know you have something on the side i just saw like a flea market so wow and that made a big old gust of wind come through that makes me think of antique Someone who's really good at finding something that might be really cheap, perhaps in a consignment shop, and has value. Knows the nuggets to pick that are valuable, the antiques that are worth something that are priced at two bucks. You know, the pieces of china that are actually, that actually have real gold on them. You know, there are sites and uh, mismatched things that people have when they have like, I'm getting like a china set. Or like, you know, uh, for a table and they're missing one piece that their grandmother gave them and they need that one, like, um, saucer, you know? Um, that just made me think of ringside struggle. I'll put that below. I think there's a flying saucer or something in the video. Um, so, you know, it could be just something that seems like it's, like, in your garage or something you never paid attention to that has value or you can put together as an oddball collection, Maybe that's where the value is in the mismatched. So see what even feels like it's miss. I'm getting that puzzle thing again. What looks like it goes together. What look, look looks like it doesn't go together and does go together. Um, 
I'm seeing different puzzles. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm seeing somebody take a piece out of somebody's puzzle and it fitting into somebody else's puzzle perfectly. That was really interesting. All right, let's get more clarity for the day. I did decide to do Friday separate um, and I'll do a weekend reading. Um, I'm just going to go with that flow. That's what felt right this week. So business venture could lead you anywhere, anywhere. So let's get clarity. Let's move along to the sacred rose tarot. Clarity for Friday on business venture. I see a battery, which makes me think of getting to recharge something. Like, not the battery that you throw away and is harmful to the environment. I see the rechargeables that really work well. And like, I don't know, every time you charge it, it gains more power rather than dwindling or losing power. This sucker, like, gains every time you plug it in. That's what I'm getting. So. If something's depleting you, lessen what that is and go to where you feel like you're being charged more. Give that more energy today. Whether that's talking to a certain person and not another person or in one room and not another room or focusing on one thing and not another thing or getting out of what you're focused on too much and just going outside on a walk. Um, see where the chemistry pulls you, you know? What makes something bubble inside of you. Um, I just heard giggle. What makes, what makes you giggle? You know, uplifting energy. Even if you're giggling about something weird, a giggle, a laugh can really, uh, total, like completely transform energy. Stagnant energy, weird energy, awkward energy, um, uncomfortable energy, you know, anything like that. So maybe <laughs> laughter. Um... Get clarity on business venture. Oh my, we have the tower coming through for the 17th. So this is Major Arcana 16. The tower can go any way. It's something unexpected that happens really without you. I mean, it could be you knocking over the tower and doing something about it starting a new foundation, getting rid of what didn't work, and starting something completely new. Or this tower could just knock down in front of you and you're there for the experience. You're there for the fall. So it could be somebody else, you know, that has something like, I don't know, I see the tower different ways. Sometimes I see the tower, something falling down, something crashing to the ground, something going away. Um, you know, it could be the old job or losing a shift or something changing around and it feels really weird because all of a sudden you have to change the schedule. You have to do something different, but that doing something different is where the glory is. It's where the, um, I just heard that's the glory of love by Bette Midler, um, like from beaches. So it's where, it's where, uh, you can start something new. It's where the fresh ground is. Um, let's see. So sometimes you can witness this tower fall. It's up to you to adapt around what changed and change your own environment in accordingly. Sometimes it's your environment that changes here. So it's up to you to do an inner change. This could just suddenly change how you saw something. Usually it's something like that. It's a sudden change of perspective. It's uh, suddenly understanding somebody else's part in a situation and you see that whole situation that you imagine in your head totally different than how it actually was. You know, it's, it could be clarity coming through. It's getting rid of all the bullshit you imagined and having something clear come through so you can actually work with what's there. It's usually the truth whether you like it or not. It's, uh, it gets rid of the crap. It's whatever was swept under the rug, perhaps coming to the surface because you trip over something. You know, it was something left unattended to. And now you have to attend to it. You have to clean it up. You have to get rid of it and start fresh. Um, sometimes I see this tower as something that was uh, like a volcano. You know, so it's something that was under the surface. It was 
brewing. It was stagnant even. It could have been a really long time. You never thought it would ever erupt. You never thought this would ever happen. But the tower can be awesome. Like an orgasm awesome. You know, however long it took, it's totally worth it when it comes. Even if it makes the world feel like it's collapsing in the moment. It's being in that moment when everything is chaos around you. And it's finding beauty in that chaos. Because after the chaos settles, you know, you're refreshed. You know, you feel like a totally different energy came through or finally got out. You know, it's having that idea that you had under the surface or you were meant to have for so long. And now is the time when it comes out and all those talents you did as a kid and now and everything makes sense. It's like it all makes sense now and you can start. Before it didn't make sense. You were climbing this tower and you didn't understand why you were, you know, doing this job for how long in your life and dating this type of person for this long in your life and all of a sudden when everything is different you get why you had to go through that why you had to climb something why you had to fall back down all of it together this is something erupting under the surface so you know it could be something beautiful but it could look like a mess you know right away so it takes clearing up the mess a little bit clearing up that space and I'm getting this tower almost like um, uh, rotating the soil like yesterday, like something's coming by to rotate that soil. So the soil's getting rotated, whether you're turning it on or not. So allow this soil to rotate because whatever you choose to plant in this soil now, you know, is going to be abundant or not. It's up to you to do the work after this comes through. So I'm getting a big change in perspective. I'm getting this tower is like, you thought this could never happen before. You thought you could never have that before. You thought you could never do it this way before. You thought this could never be done. And now you see it could, it can, because it's you. Because you are the one to change something. You are the one there at the moment that something can be done and can happen. So after this tower comes through, it is up to you. Let's get clarity on the tower. Um, it is a big energy. It's usually something quick. It's not good, it's not bad, it's not up, it's not down. It is what it is, and it's up to you to turn whatever this is around. You know, if something big and beautiful comes through, what can you do so that big, beautiful thing keeps coming through? So you can keep that awesome tower erupting in your world. You know, and if it's something that shook the world, it probably shook the world for you in some way to shake your world and get you to see something a different way, a new way. What way is that? What way are you facing after this comes through? What is reflecting back at you? Sometimes this tower comes through and it's a big reflection at us, you know, to see something so that we can change something. I just thought a man in the mirror by Michael Jackson. I'll put that below. All right, let's get clarity. I have the guardian angel tarot. Let's get clarity for Friday on the tower. Major Arcana 16. It's also a seven, which is still on the road to truth. This is perhaps just um, giving us a wider road, you know? A, a, yeah, like, a, I just, like a, a like a, like a, a I want to say like a carnival or like a, like a fair, like a fairground. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm going back to now seeing that, like, I'm going back to seeing, like, um, maybe like a, I want to say like a coliseum or something like that where there's a really big parking lot and sometimes there's a carnival sometimes there's like a I want to say like a street fair but more like a um I don't know I just heard auction that's that just made me think of the auctioneer the country song uh, hey pretty lady won't you give me a sign I'd give and I think you'd make it mine oh mine I'd do your beckon and be at your beckon call I totally got those words wrong wow that was weird I, I can't think of who that is I'll put it below <laughs> sometimes the weirdest shit pops through uh, um, at least I never know which category is going to come through alright let's let's get clarity on the day um <laughs> I, I'm totally, I totally hear that song loud and clear now. All right, uh, that's cool. Let's get another song. I almost said another song, another card, clarity for business venture and the tower. 
Um, I mean, this could be like, I don't want to say like it, laughing, but it could be like something that feels like, oh, you just lost. But in reality, you just gained something. Like it could be like if you're, I want to say like a business owner and you suddenly lose an employee or something happens, it could be the right one coming through the door or extra help you didn't expect coming through the door because it forced you to look for somebody to help you, you know, um, like if somebody has to take off or something like that, like having somebody on uh, call is what I'm getting. So it might start with just being on call somewhere and not feel like it's really big, like it's just little, but maybe it's really something big later. It gives you a job, it gives you that, even just something that you do. Um, I'm getting like helping somebody out. out. Uh, I hear booth. Maybe that, like a booth somewhere. Maybe it is like a convention or something like that. It's somebody that comes through to your table, you know? It's just like a one-time gig you thought you'd do, and all of a sudden you have... Um, I just saw like wild on, but like, like maybe traveling around the world, like, you know, that old show that like, I want to say Brooke Burke used to host where she just got to go around to awesome places and like hang out and see what's going on in the local, you know, sites. Um, so maybe it's something like that. I'm getting maybe something like that, but more historic maybe. Wow. That was sort of interesting. Maybe it just starts with a conversation or talking to the right person. Um, going to the right place, maybe, you know? All right, let's get clarity. You know, this could be, like, I just got somebody, like, just going on vacation, you know? And you get there, and it's, like, total deja vu. Like, you are meant to live in this place, or that town, or that thing, or that place, or you meet your future business partner, friend, whoever, somewhere else, and you end up moving somewhere out of nowhere, like you never thought you'd go and then you're going to stay. It could be something like that. Um, all right, let's get clarity. Let's get another card for the Tower, Major Arcana, 16, and trust and follow through with a new business idea or career opportunity. And, wow, this is going to be something you really love. Like, you really love, like, a little kid. Like, you want to write poems about it and talk about it. And you imagine everything that you're going to do. Whatever this is, let it go. Whatever it is, let it go. This is beautiful coming through. This is the messenger of emotions, the page of cups. So it could be a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpio, like, energy. Really young, possibly a child. Possibly makes you feel like a teenager. I just thought of the uh, um, Katy Perry song. <laughs> and I see like braces or like a happy smile or like you felt like when you were a teenager. Like it, it, it could just be falling in love again. Having that like honeymoon again. You know, going somewhere again and having it just... I'm getting that battery. I see a battery again. Like... Make, like I see like fountain of youth coming through so maybe there's somebody really young makes you feel young maybe you're young and someone's older and generations or age doesn't even matter um I see the I see the bird I want to see the dove it looks like a dove bringing like a message so it could be a message a uh a page um you know pages news reading something a text a call um a beginning, you know, a new start, a start, a start to something you love where you might feel like it's new, a new space, a new place, a new relationship all together, by the way. This is new stuff coming in, but it makes you feel young. It makes you feel excited to do something again. Not like it's going to the same thing every day that you've always done. Even if you're there, there's something new coming in that makes you get excited to do it again. It's that excitement. It's excitement energy, falling in love energy, falling in love with yourself, what you're doing, where you're going, getting up early, getting prepared for something to look extra cute. You know, this page doesn't have all the experience at all. You have to allow yourself to be young somewhere to discover what you don't know about somebody else all over again. You know, maybe brand new, maybe yourself in a new situation, how you are in this whole new situation, this whole new place with this whole new person. This is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow, could grow into something deeper. You may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing. That could be in yourself. Trying something brand new you didn't even know you were into. 
you know um that just made me think of the aerial silks. I'm a, I'm, I'm a weirdo when I get into something. I don't do something. I don't usually go for the norm. I go for the aerial silks, like something unusual. Maybe there's something different, a different way to move through a situation that's just not the norm. Um, um, makes me think of like, I, I just thought of yoga, but I don't know, maybe using aerial silks, something like that, doing some something different with stretching, moving your body that doesn't feel like it's just like going to the same old routine that made me think of like Jane Fonda, you know, like not that, you know, something new and unique. So every time you do it, it's different. It's more a uh, spur of the moment and natural and not a routine is sort of what I'm getting, not routine here, although, it's up to you to keep it fresh, you know, out of the routine a little bit. Throw the routine away a little bit here. In the beginning, see what works. A social invitation could be soon on its way to you. There is a person involved who's gentle and loving with only the kindest of intentions. It could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. This is the page that is uh, naturally sensitive, naturally psychic, um, sweet, vulnerable. They find their strength in that vulnerability, but sometimes they're overwhelmed by emotions and they don't know how to express their emotions. Um, sometimes it's just, it's just learning. Sometimes it's, it's getting your heart broken. Sometimes this is like young love, but it's not being afraid to try it again because it was so amazing that time that it lasted for two weeks that they're going to give it another go. It was totally worth it. That's that kind of energy. It's just excited again, you know, ready again. Um, all right, let's pull one more card for the day. So, I mean, this tower also is if you haven't had that right relationship, a relationship, a bonding experience in your relationship in a long time this tower means it's happening today um i don't know it could even be talking with your honey and doing a business thing together in some cases um but i feel like it's bringing love into your world for you so start to i hear travel maybe it's traveling and that's going to bring love towards you later you never know where that road brings you we're going to get one more card for the day from the uh, Winged Enchantment Oracle. Let's get clarity for Friday. I think I forgot the booklet. I did. So I'll pause this and go get the booklet, but let's get the card first. One card for Friday. Oh, we have the Pelican, number 27 coming through. So maybe the number 27 is important. Um, uh, 27th, um, just over a day. <laughs> um, it's a nine, so it's completion. The pelican is, I think of it as a really strong animal. I see all the pebbles here. Um, Something on the shore, I see a feather, like going down the river, the stream, the water. So look for maybe feathers or your own personal sign coming through today. Um, reflection, even. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to get the book. All right, I apologize. I'm back. I got the booklet. I forget this thing sometimes. Um, every once in a while, I also walk into a room and I have to look around like, why did I walk in this room? Look around and then it comes. <laughs> so let's begin 27 is Pelican. I am Pelican, the bridge to the head and the heart. I am careful observation. I am planning with room for negotiation. Planning? So some planning, but leave room for what might come through, what might be new, what you might discover. I am the... It also makes me think of a Libra with the head and the heart, so maybe there's balance, decision, compromise. Coming to a... Um, Middle point, I just thought of meet me halfway by the black eyed peas. I'll put that below. You're out. All right. I am unfettered determination. Wait, wait, I skipped. I skipped the line. Let me go back. I am planning with room Hello. for negotiation. Hi, Vincenzo. I am the skills you need to reach your goal at hand. I am the unfettered determination. I am the use of team dynamics. You, your outlook is too heavy. Your viewpoint too restricted. What you require is greater adaptability. 
I am the release of expectation. I am the effortless flow of one thing to another. I am your need to let things unfold and take the best catch. You may have stepped in your own way. You may be well tripping over your own feet. They do have big Aww. funny feet. You have cute feet, Vinny. You may well be tripping over your own feet. Stay focused, but do not lose sight of the bigger picture. You will always find what you need. You are positive and productive. You are effortless acquisition. You are abundant in resources. That's the corticopia yesterday. You'll find what you need when you need it at the time you actually need it. So plan accordingly and trust that when you get there, if you don't have what you need, you'll figure it out. You are pelican. All right, I hope this is helpful, guys. I love you so much. I hope you have a beautiful Friday, and I will see you soon.